every time Mr. Biden told Netanyahu, no, you got to stop and look out for the, for the civilians. Let's have a pause or something. And every time Blinken came back to America, Mr. Netanyahu said, ain't nothing going to stop what we're doing until we complete what we intend to do, and that is to destroy Hamas. Now, you may not know this, but it was Israel that set up Hamas. Now, wait, 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 now this is, we're gonna have some lessons today. See, this is how the enemy works. When you have a strong leader, as the Palestinians had in Yasser Arafat, they set up other leaders and gave them money. This is what they do today. You get a strong black leader like our great brother Marcus Garvey. How many of you have heard of Mr. Garvey? Good. He wanted us to return to Africa. And uh, he had the largest mass movement of black people in our history. Mr. Garvey was a strong black man. So what did our enemies do? They went and took members of the talented 10th, W.E.B. Du Bois, great brother. We have great brothers among us today, but what they want is to use them against the strong leader. Elijah Muhammad was on scene. You don't want Elijah. So they give you a strong NAACP. Our members of the NAACP don't get angry. I'm a lifetime member too, but I'm not a blind member. The uh, NAACP has been in existence for 114 years, but it's still under the control of members of the Jewish community who got it started. Oh, now you're gonna talk hate? No, I'm gonna tell the truth. Truth that many of you already know, but you're afraid because the Jewish community has power over your little jobs and your aims and purposes. Yeah. So they come, give you a leader that they approve. They didn't approve of Mr. God. They didn't approve of Noble Drew Ali. They gave us members that are inclined to want to be one with white people. But when the NAACP got stronger, I spoke to the head of the NAACP and I said, brother, why don't we have the NAACP gather all black groups and black leaders together under their banner. I'd like to be a part of it. They had the meeting. The black leaders showed up, but outside the door, the Jewish leaders were there. And they watched those that they paid for come in. Only one they were worried about was Farrakhan is in there. It lasted for about three meetings. And then we fell apart because the members of the Jewish community threatened black members that they would withdraw their money. 